Hey, what is up, guys? I am Austin. My name is Austin. Uh, that was weird. That was a weird intro. Um, I don't know how I just messed up my intro that I've been doing for almost, what, six months? Five, six months now? Man, I've been doing this for five months. What the heck? But it's kind of cold outside. So this is going to be a quick shave on a cold day. <clears throat> now, what am I going to be shaving with today? I'm going to be shaving with Derby. i got to put a new shark blade in my razor. After shave, aqua velva musk for the razor. I'll be in the hug and safety razor because it's a good razor. And for the brush, I'm letting it soak while I was in the shower. My bash and bedroom brush. So, yeah. And the other day, I lost my voice. It wasn't yesterday, it was the day before yesterday. And I don't know how. But I did. Okay. And, uh, I mean, I kind of have it back now, but something happened to it, and I, I don't know what happened to it. Um, it's my phone, so, like... There you go. So, I'm wearing like a long sleeve shirt underneath my t-shirt because like I said, it's a little cold outside, but I still wanna, um, you know, like, I'm gonna go out and ride my bike, you know, for a little bit, but I wanna stay warm while I'm doing it. So, I'm gonna get my face wet. Now I've noticed my hair's starting to get long. My bangs are gonna start to come to the like here in my eyes, so that's cool. Okay. <laughs> Why did I ultimately decide that wearing a long sleeve shirt was going to be a good idea? I don't know. Careful to not cut yourself when you're doing this. Because I have multiple times shark blade. I haven't used a shark blade in this razor in a while. The past few times I've used it, it's been a Gillette blade, so it's cool. Alright, pop open the derby. That is an odd scent, to say the least. This is probably one of the most weirdest but best soaps that I have. <laughs> weird as in scented and it's not even like it's a Turkish shaving cream I think so all it says it has the uh, says that it's made in Turkey so in I'm assuming the Turkish or Turkish language what, what is the Turkish language isn't that like I don't know does Turkey have its own language I don't know all right, there we go. Lathered and the brush beautifully. It was not the best idea to be wearing a long sleeve shirt, so I'm just gonna roll my sleeves up just a tiny bit so I don't get it anywhere. All right, no shave November day. Let's see, today is the 22nd, I think. So, 28 days of not shaving. My mustache. I tried my soul patch, but I ended up messing it up. So I have to completely. No, I'm gonna kind of let my sideburns kind of grow out. That's just. That's not even gonna be really a part of No Shave November. It's just gonna be a thing that I'm doing. Because <laughs> I have, like, no sideburns whatsoever on my head. And because my hair is getting longer, it's been looking kind of weird when I have my sideburns all short. So, I'm just letting my sideburns grow out. Now I've been kind of running out of YouTube video ideas. So let me know what you guys want to see me do in the comments below, because I'd really appreciate it. Because I'm kind of running out of ideas. I've kind of ran out of products that I haven't used. 
And they've just kind of been pushing out content that's kind of all over the place lately. So what do you guys want to see? I can't order anything else because I'm broke. And plus I'm trying to get back on my other channel. I'm just trying to start something new with it. Can you see my mustache? Man, if the lighting in here wasn't up, wasn't as bad as it is, you could totally see it. There's a little bit of editing. I'll see if you can see it or I'll take a picture of it or something. Because you can really see it like outside of this light or outside of the phone. My dad chickened out and ended up shaving today. He failed no shave November. So alright, let's start shaving. I know how I'm razor. I'm planning on doing a comparison video between this Vanderhagen razor and my uh, Gillette Super Speed because they're very similar razors and I just want to see and feel and tell you guys what the differences are. That's a video idea for either this week or next week because it's Saturday. Today I don't have anything to do. I'm just trying to work on other channels that I have because I've been absent on my other channel for a while now. I made a comeback video for it, but that was like a month and a half ago, I think. It was a while ago, that's all I know. And then I just have been posting on this channel a lot, so I've just been busy. This past weekend, I've actually had a lot of time to make these videos, but yesterday, I didn't have time to make a video, but today I do. I think I'm gonna try and attempt to do three passes today. I saw a video, because there is a shaving TikToker on, on, right on TikTok. And someone asked, you know, like, how do you shave over your Adam's apple? And he literally just shaved right over it. I don't know how he did it. From the looks of it, he was using, like, my, he was using a very similar razor to this. And that, that is kind of an aggressive razor, so I don't know how he did it. Swallow technique works, but it's kind of uncomfortable and awkward to do. Alright, first pass is done. There's tons, and that's one of the great things about this soap. The derby is that it leaves so much slickness behind. That's one of the reasons why I like it. The smell can be a little bit off-putting sometimes, and sometimes it can trigger you in ways that it wouldn't really trigger you. I don't know what I mean by that. <laughs> this is a really weird scent. It's so hard to place. I think uh, Sinatra Lennon said it best. It smells like chemically, like tor corn tortillas with a mix of chemical smells. And it's, it's true, it does kind of smell like corn tortillas with a little bit of chemical smell to it. And it's so weird. So it's really just this soap that you'd have to try out yourself. I don't think it's too, exp too expensive. Um, where Andy got this or wherever who got it, um, it was seven bucks. But on Amazon, it's like four or five bucks, I think. I don't think it's too expensive. And a lot of people like it. So if you haven't tried it yet, I recommend you try it because it's a good soap. It's slick. I mean, I can have a thick lather like this and I would get plenty of slickness. But I like to have it a little bit wet. Just like that. I don't know why. I also feel like I get a better shave when I have it. When I have a nice lather, a little bit transparent. I don't know why. Alright. 
Second pass. Now this razor has been getting grungy. It's about time for me to clean it. But I'm not gonna clean it just yet. Water dripping down my arm. And just let me know what you guys want to see from me because I'm kind of out of ideas. I mean, I'm not like, oh my god, I have to quit my channel because I have no ideas. No, I'm not like that. I'm not at that point. <laughs> Though I am getting to that point and it's kind of scaring me a little bit. But it'd be nice if some, you know, some companies could send me stuff. Some people want to send me things. I'm not going to be like, oh my god, please send me something, I'm begging you. As long as you want to. I don't want to sound greedy, ungrateful, because I am extremely grateful for all the things that have happened with this channel. I love everyone who comments and likes and views my videos. <clears throat> On Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff. I don't have a Twitter. I don't want it. I don't want to make a Twitter. I don't like Twitter. All right, second pass. I'm done. I like. I think the quality of this brush kind of increases when I soak it in the hot water while I'm in the shower. A lot of people do it. And I see why. Because it kind of softens up the bristles a little bit more and it kind of spreads the little bristles out a little bit more. And my second pass kind of lost a little bit of my lather, but it's still a nice lather. I am. Um, I'm just... I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm broke and I don't have much money. I don't want to sound needy. You don't have to. I'm not encouraging you to. If you do what you want, it's fine. But like I said, I don't want to sound greedy. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is when I sometimes act greedy. So, third pass. Let's change the subject, shall we? That was an odd subject. Like I said, it's cold outside. I'm gonna go ride my bike here in a little bit. Actually, it's about lunchtime, so I'm gonna eat lunch first. Then we'll go out. I don't have any nicks so far, so that's a plus. Although I want to go get nicks, because I went a really long time where I literally just got nicks left and right. Here, can you guys see it? You can see the darkness. And when I'm like far away, you can see the darkness right here, because of my. Lovely full mustache. Maybe I should let my mustache grow out even after November. What do you guys think? Should I do that? Let my mustache grow out like another month. See how it looks. I think I'm gonna try that. Let me know what you guys think I should do. All right, so that's the third and final pass. No mix. That's good. Just feel it around. I feel it when I put on the other shoes if I did get any mix. Because that look of them must burn. Right. 
get my itch the eye. Ooh. It feels weird when you get hair stuck in your eye. It's such a weird feeling. I know, for some reason my allergies have been acting up a lot lately. Like I've gotten I've been getting like watery eyes. I can kinda see it now. I'm just getting like watery eyes, itchy nose. Like it's spring again. But it's not spring, it's far from spring. It's like 60, 50, 60 degrees outside. My allergies should not be acting up. Or maybe it's just because no, it won't be it, because everything's already been dead. So it won't, my allergies won't be acting up because everything's dying, because everything died in October. All right, Thanksgiving's coming up. I got a lot of stuff. Christmas is coming up. I always feel like during Christmas time, it's always the point leading up to Christmas Day is usually like the best part of Christmas. Is like the decorations and the leading up to Christmas Day. Christmas Day, I mean, yeah, it's like the thing we've all been waiting for. You know, you get all like presents and stuff from family members. You get cookies from neighbors. That's one of the things I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making my special signature, uh, like a it's like a almond mocha like muffin cupcake thing. And I'm going to make a ton of them and bring them out to all out to all my neighbors because they do that. We've done that for us for like the past two years that we've lived here, and we haven't done anything back. So that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, it's usually always the point leading up to Christmas. That's usually the better part of Christmas. All right, Aquavilla Musk. Wish I had like a more Christmassy scented aftershave. Ooh. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> My mom says that this alcohol must smells like an old hotel. <sighs> it is a strong aftershave. Man, I tell you, this is not something for the light lighthearted people. Uh, if the smell was a little less strong, I'd like it more and I'd use it more, but. Sexy, masculine, powerful, oh, musk. I'm not even gonna try and attempt to do a low voice because I can't. When I have a decently low voice, but nothing like some other people out there. I mean, I have a really low voice for a 14 year old, but. Alright, that was a good shave. No nicks. Still got the mustache. Didn't mess it up. Really good shape. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did like it, make sure you guys leave a like because it really helps out the channel a lot. Also make, sure you, also, make sure you guys subscribe and share with your friends to spread the word about my channel. I'm energetic. I had two cups of coffee, and I'm about to have my third one after this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.